morning, everybody. We're just leaving the mountain town of Campudrom in the Spanish Pyrenees. Today we have to drive to Andorra. It's gonna be a long drive, but we got like nine or 10 hours of daylight. We're gonna take advantage of that. Well, today is Labor Day, so I imagine people are sleeping in. There's not much traffic. Well, still, these are little towns in the uh, Spanish Pyrenees. I don't think we'll find much traffic around here. Whoa, now this is just a beautiful sight. Look at that. People must still be skiing up there. We should be there in no time. We're getting really close. The snowy peaks up the Pyrenees. These mountains are just full of these little towns. This little town reminds me of, somehow reminds me Telluride in Colorado, right in the middle of the mountains. Okay, we just started the climb. This is one of my favorite parts, climbing up a mountain. There's not much traffic, but we still gotta be careful. These are really narrow roads. on our way to Andorra. We're not gonna stop here, we're just gonna stroll by. We wanna make some more miles today. It's a beautiful, still a beautiful day. Temperature's now almost 11 Celsius and the day is just stunning. It cannot be any better. Espectacular, una mañana increíble, un sol radiante, un cielo celeste, como para seguir gozando el resto de la semana. Así es. ¡Uh adventure guys well here we are a uh, very active day today we actually did from a place called Campodrome it's a beautiful beautiful winter town we slept there last night and this morning we took off on the road towards Andorra the hike up that road it was just unbelievable a lot of twisties a lot of snow very cold but it was a beautiful day with blue skies uh, we got some nice shots and now we are on our way to a place called you know what I forgot what it's called it's a small town on our way to Viela, where we really wanted to spend the night. But the thing is, it's a little bit late. If we want to make it there, we still have to ride another 45 miles. 45, 50 miles on these mountain roads, you don't really go too fast. Because, you know, if you want to go fast, it's fine. But for me, it's all about enjoying the scenery, filming, stopping. Sometimes I like to speed it up a little bit, too. But for the most part, I like to just enjoy the road and the scenery. Because that's why we came all the way here. And I love it. I love it because of this. Look at this view. Look at this beauty. How much you discover in the saddle of a motorcycle. The way everything looks, the smells. You don't get the same experience sitting in the seat of a car. You just don't. And that's the beauty of riding motorcycles, you know? 
We are arriving to Sorte. No Sorte. Not sure how they pronounce the. Uh, I don't think it can be any more different than Sort. Only S O R T. I think we're definitely gonna stay the night here because it's already uh, 7:35, and um, we are all tired. Time to discover the local bars, go find some good wine and some more food because that's pretty much what we do besides riding is we eat like freaking pigs and drink like freaking fish, and we love it. We love it. Oh, this is really cool. The old alleys of this town, riding through the old alleys. Bueno, muy bien, estamos una vez más celebrando, festejando una noche inolvidable y que sigamos así hasta la eternidad. What time we're leaving tomorrow? We've been saying for the last three days that we're gonna get off early in the morning. It really hasn't happened. We are committed to starting tomorrow. So 8 a.m. Because we are 45 miles behind schedule. And we need to make it up at some point because we have to be in Bilbao on Friday at six o'clock, so. The idea is to be in France tomorrow. We're going to Lourdes tomorrow. If we accomplish that, we should be able to maintain our schedule. You think so? Um, <laughs> we'll try. We'll, we'll try. Give it a shot. Something tells me on the last day we're gonna have to take the highway and okay. get 120 yeah, kilometers an hour. Like we make it. Well, where are you going? It's right here. You may want to. You can see we're a little Come drunk. On, yeah. <laughs> you're gonna kick us out of this place, <laughs> man. Que viva España. Good morning, it's a cloudy day here in the town of Sort. It's 8 a.m. and we're leaving for Lourdes, France. It's gonna be a mountainous pass like yesterday. First, we gotta drive 45 miles to the city of Viela. From there to Lourdes. Last night, we had a lot of wine and a nice dinner. We went to bed early, so everybody is top notch right now. Here we go. So beautiful. We're in the middle of the Pyrenees. I remember first time I did the deal scap, Tale of the Dragon. I love the, the curves, you know. The, that's kind of like one of the best things. It's just to ride a, a mountain road with all these curves and look at this view. It's just stunning. You have to do this just to, to believe it. You have to experience. Totally it's awe-inspiring. The weather's really nice. It's cold, but it's really nice. We're all uh, well covered. I got like three layers on me right now. Just doesn't get any better than this. close from the town of Viela. Now we're going down the mountain. The weather is holding up, didn't rain. Still, there's a lot of rain in the forecast, especially when we get into France this afternoon. Can't wait to get to Lourdes. Entering the town of Bacada. 
Looks like a ski resort. Definitely a ski resort. In winter, this must be hectic. Right now, it looks like a ghost town. We are very close right now to Viela. We should be there in uh, 20 minutes or so. This is probably Viela now. This was originally where we were supposed to stay last night. Technically speaking, we're back on schedule because this is usually the time that we start riding each day. The route today to Lourdes from here is the shortest of all the days. So I believe we'll be in Lourdes early and enjoy it. There's not much people here. Well, it should be very, very popular in, uh, in the winter because of all the skiing around here. Still, it's just beautiful Pyrenees town, surrounded by mountains. Okay, 18 kilometers to France. The weather's picking up. It's not that cold anymore. It's around 11 Celsius. The more we ride, the more beautiful it gets. This is the town of Bossot. It has a French flavor to it. We can tell that we're really close to the border now. Okay, now we start climbing up again. France is on the other side. I just love these windy roads. Keeps you awake, keeps you alert. have officially entered France. This is the town of Alette Vain, right next to the border of Spain. It's a beautiful town. You can sense it's a French town by the architecture. Well, the, the rain catch up uh, to us, and uh, right now we're crossing uh, several French towns. Towns like this, it doesn't get any more French. They were riding all the way to Lourdes in France and they decided to take this high pass uh, mountain road uh, for called uh, Tourmalet. Unfortunately, it's actually closed. There was no notice of uh, road closure down below, so we rode all the way up here in very nasty conditions. And uh, now we're going to have to turn back and find a detour to make it back to Lourdes. More than likely, this road is closed because there's still a lot of snow in uh, the higher elevation. We're only 45 uh, kilometers away from uh, Lourdes, so we're not too bad. Uh, that's uh, taking the detour, so we're fine.
It's been a very rainy day. We actually rode today in a very, very wet conditions. So we made it all the way to uh, Lourdes and it's still raining, but it's nice. It actually gives the whole place a very mystifying feeling to it. An ambience, of a mystifying yep. ambience. see in the background that's the Basilica of uh, the Virgin of Lourdes. Catholics from all over the world come here to visit the Le like, Grot. Le Grot. Where the Virgin appeared to the yes, Bernadette, Bernadette, the peasant girl, back in the 19th century. But I think it was 1858, right? The actual it, church is built after the apparition. And El Grotto, where the Virgin appeared, is actually on this side of the church. It's down below where the rock is. The church is actually built in a gigantic rock. And that's where the Virgin appeared to this uh, peasant girl. Ever since it's become a very devoted Catholic uh, place where people from all over the world come to visit uh, the Basilica and, and this side of the apparition. Very beautiful and peaceful location. Regardless of whether you are a religious person or not, it is just a very overwhelming place. It's a holy place. It's a very holy place. Hey amigos, thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, make sure to share this video, give it a thumbs up and let us know what you think in the comments section below. Thanks again for watching and right on amigos!